Lava flows coming out of the new side and extending to the seaside terrible. Red hot lava from a volcano that devastated the Spanish island of La Palma reached the Atlantic Ocean late on Tuesday evening, nine days after it started to flow down the mountain, wrecking buildings and destroying crops. Big clouds of white steam billowed up from the Playa Nueva area as the lava made contact with the ocean, according to Reuters images. Photographs shared on social media showed the lava piling up near a cliff. Officials said the lava flowing into the sea could trigger explosions and clouds of toxic gases and the Canary Islands Emergency Service urged those outdoors to immediately find a safe place to shelter. No injuries have been reported. When the lava reaches the sea, the lockdown must be strictly observed, Miguel Angel Morquende, director of the Pivolca Response Committee, said earlier on Tuesday. Lava has been flowing down the Cumbre Vieja volcano's western flank toward the sea since September 19, destroying almost 600 houses and banana plantations in La Palma, which neighbors Tenerife in the Canary Islands archipelago off the North African coast. Thousands of people have been evacuated and three coastal villages were locked down on Monday in anticipation of the lava meeting the Atlantic Ocean. Spain classified La Palma as a disaster zone on Tuesday, a move that will trigger financial support for the island. The government announced a first package of 10.5 million euros, 12.3 million dollars, which includes around 5 million euros to buy houses, with the rest to acquire furniture and essential household goods, government spokesperson Isabel Rodriguez said. One resident who was evacuated last week from the village of Tacande de Ariba was delighted to find his house still standing and his pet cats unscathed. It's a good feeling, a fantastic feeling, said Gert Wegerl, 75, who fled the advancing lava with his five turtles on Friday but had to leave the cats behind. The eruption at La Palma continued during the 21st to the 28th of September characterized by strombolian explosions, lava fountaining from multiple vents, advancing lava flows, and sometimes dense, daily ash emissions. A strong increase in tremor amplitude during the afternoon of 21 September was coincident with intensifying strombolian activity. Explosive activity again increased on the 22nd of September and dense plumes with abundant amounts of ash rose 3 to 4.6 kilometers, 10,000 to 15,000 feet, a, s, l, and caused ashfall in areas downwind. Ash deposits were 3 centimeters thick in an unspecified area 1 kilometer from the vents. The main lava flow advanced W towards the coast. Ash emissions significantly increased on the 23rd of September with plumes rising as high as 5 kilometers, 16,400 feet, a, s, l. A series of powerful explosions began at 1720 and shockwaves could be seen propagating through the emission plumes. Vigorous lava fountaining was continuous. Volcanic tremor amplitude was high and variable peaking at 1500 on the 24th of September with the highest values since the eruption started. The peak occurred just before two new vents opened on the flank of the main cone, and then notably decreased afterwards, but remained at high levels. The flow was 600 meters across at the widest part and the leading edge was 4 to 6 meters tall. Lava fountaining and low-intensity strombolian explosions persisted. Copernicus Ems estimated that the lava covered 2.37 square kilometers, had destroyed 513 houses, and covered 18.9 kilometers of roads. Multiple lava fountains feeding flows were visible on 27 September though the activity waned for a period of about eight hours. By the evening activity had resumed and low-intensity strombolian explosions were visible.